Medellin, Colombia's second city, now an international tourist hotspot, has come a long way since the violent days of Pablo Escobar and is now considered a safe place to visit. But the surrounding hillsides tell a different story. Here lies the infamous Comuna 13, a place where most would look down to from the confines of a cable car, a place that has made world headlines for years as being one of the most dangerous places in the world. We were initially met with a lot of straight faces, but it didn't take long for the leader to seek us out, find out who the hell we were, and offer us some aguardiente. Aguardiente, sure to kick you in the chest and put hair on your nuts. After a few coin tricks to break the ice, we shortly had the whole neighborhood around us. The street party was building up and uh, pretty much everyone seemed to be involved. <laughs> There was some showing off, some loud music, and even a little dancing. <laughs> As nighttime was approaching, the daily preparations had to be made. Garbage cans were put out on the streets to prevent cars from driving by, and military stood on every corner blocking foot traffic from neighborhood to neighborhood. Things got a little intense, but we were assured of our safety, so we decided to stick it out a little longer. Now, we didn't really know what to expect coming into a place like this, but what we got sure as hell wasn't the violence and dangers we've heard about. It was smiling faces, laughter, family, and kindness I haven't experienced in a very long time. It's these kinds of rare experiences that exist all around us. You just have to seek them out. And when you do, you will never forget them. You know, people aren't as bad as you think when you give them a chance. Even those hard mofos like myself. Keeping it live and keeping it hot. When you punk ass niggas don't. Nigga West Side, what? Bring it on.